All right, here with wide receiver Victor Harston for the NSU Spartans. Great game today. I mean, the offense was really clicking, man. You guys really had the momentum and kept it throughout. We started off a little slow. We wanted to get out here and get out a little faster, but uh, we're going to take the win and try to get better, try to look at film and see what we can do better. Now out there, I mean, you really ripped apart the, the Virginia State defense. What were you seeing out there? I mean, pretty much what Coach Nim told me to do. I mean, we already knew what they was going to run, so it just was up to me to catch the ball and just make something happen. And then looking at the offense, given, given this was the first game, and you guys were able to uh, turn possessions into points. You know, how, how good is that to get off to a good start in the first game? Oh, oh it, it's crucial to get off to a good start. You know, we're playing a, a real good team next week, and we want to start off good. We don't want to start off flat because that can carry over into next week. You displayed pretty much the whole repertoire today, running the ball and, and throwing the ball. With this offense, is, is this the type of game you feel like you can produce consistently? Oh, yeah. You know, our offense is good enough to be able to do that day in and day out. Um, like you said, getting to run the ball a little bit, show, show people I can run. Um, that was good for me. Uh, give the defense something else to look at. And you were able to spread the ball around to your receivers and backs. I mean, Victor Hurston had a great day today, as well as Xavier Boyce, including him in the offense, and Reggie Garrett, even, even Joe Hawkins, your tight end. I mean, you were really seeing a lot, uh, a lot of opportunities out there. You know, what else were you seeing out there against the defense? You know, defense, they played hard, but they had some holes there. And like you said, getting the ball to a lot of guys, I love doing that. You know, all, I need all my guys getting touches. As far as offensive line, of course, one of the big questions coming in, but I would say, hey, they, they pretty much proved themselves in this first game. Oh, yeah, they did great. Offensive line, you know, everybody from top to bottom did awesome. We had, I don't believe we had any sacks. I wasn't hurried very much. So uh, for that first game with a bunch of new guys, they did awesome. Great game today, man, and one of the big plays that really busted this game wide open, that pick six. What did you see on that play? I was reading uh, the receiver, which coach told me, and I played it just how he told me, so I jumped it, and pretty much the rest was history. Now after that play, the momentum definitely shifted into our favor. Is that something that this defense can do pretty much every game, They're making those momentum shifting plays? Yes, sir. Coach told us defense win championship, and we're like the backbone of the team. We've got to stay strong. If we dominate them and do great, everything will be history, and the offense will have an easy slide. Your defense only allowing three points today. I mean, you guys are pretty much everywhere stopping everything Virginia State was trying to do. Uh, speak about your defense today, uh, levels one through three. I think from one through three, we was clicking. We read the film, so we knew pretty much what they throwing at us. And we just focused. We was disciplined. We stayed. We played our roles. We played our assignments. And we were just making plays at it. Here with head coach Pete Adrian following the 37-3 victory of Virginia State. Uh, offense was able to put up points. Your defense pretty much stopped the other team from scoring, only allowing three points. Pretty much textbook NSU Spartan type of football, right? Well, yeah, for the first game, you never know what you're going to get. You know, we started a little slow, but, uh, you know, we played consistently throughout. The defense really played steady through the whole thing. And, I mean, even on their field goal was because of that kickoff return. They didn't get a first down and kicked it. But that's the way the game goes. We created a turnover for a touchdown. And then the, once the offense got going, we converted a lot of good third downs. I thought Chris Wally played very well. The receivers caught the ball very well. And our new running backs did a nice job. I think we had over 400 yards offense. So anytime you win, you got to be happy about it. 37-3 uh, to three is always a nice score to have. It makes you enjoy the fourth quarter a little bit. And what do you see from the team as, as far as the confidence, even the chemistry, especially with the offense, given the first game against, a, against an opponent? Well, I, I think uh, we were a little worried because, you know, anytime you start that many new uh, offensive linemen in the game, you don't know how they play. And I think they've overall really played pretty well, you know, for the first game and, and getting all the assignments that they got, you know, that we call in with the no huddle and everything. So I was pleased. And, of course, we get a chance to watch the film and, you know, uh, we'll find out exactly how we did. And speaking of Wally, distributing the ball through the receivers, he's got some playmakers in that receiving court, doesn't he? Well, there's no question about that. And again, you know, a year ago, those kids were being criticized a little bit. But again, that was the first time they played, and they got a lot better with that. And, and Xavier Boyce had a nice big catch, you know, for us with that touchdown. And he's only going to get better. So we're, I'm very pleased. So the Spartans get the victory over Virginia State in front of 17,000 fans here in Dick Price Stadium, 37 to 3. The Spartan offense was clicking, generating over 400 yards of offense in six scores. The defense shut everything down, only allowing three points and turned a turnover into a touchdown courtesy of Ricardo Volson. Now, the Spartans travel to Morgantown, West Virginia to take on the defending Big East champion, West Virginia Mountaineers. Let's see if the Spartans can keep up the momentum against a very formidable opponent. For more NSU football, as always, NSUSpartans.com.